What's up everyone? Uh, as you know, this year I've partnered with Logan Coach Trailers. We want to just take a minute, give you a tour of the trailer that I ordered with them. Uh, some pretty neat things with Logan Coach is they're big in customizations. They have base packages and then you can build and take away different options as you feel is necessary for your needs. Um, for me, a couple of the big things is racing the hill climb circuit and then backcountry riding every day. I wanted to be able to use the trailer for both of those things. Uh, so what we went with, we have a 33 foot gooseneck, um, went with the Keith Curtis edition. Um, Keith's a really good friend of mine and when he partnered with them, he set up a really good package. Uh, we'll highlight some of those things as we go along, um, but his package definitely had a lot of things that made sense for me to use. So out here on the exterior, like I said, we're 33 feet, 14 ply tires, um, high quality rims. Again, the whole trailer's galvanized. So it doesn't corrode, no rust. Um, fit and finish is awesome. So let's go take a look at everything. So starting up here in the front, uh, we have a big pull down door. It'll lock, you can lock it. Comes up in here, we got our spare tires. Uh, this trailer, we went with two dual uh, electric jacks. Not so much for a capacity issue, but just stability when we're parked at the races, we're in there working on things. Two big 30 pound propane tanks. Uh, this thing's got two heaters, as we'll see. Hate to be cold, so these things will be running all the time. We got four batteries in here uh, with battery blankets on them, keep things warm. Or obviously in the winter time, it gets cold. Um, anyway, so nice not to have to worry about that. Plenty of batteries, just a peace of mind that that they're going to be working all the time. So let's continue on and take a look down this side. So something, like I said, with our customizations, we took out the side door. You know, all of my sleds. We can utilize reverse. Um, I didn't want the hassle of trying to bring sleds in and out the front. So a cool option, if you guys like it, you can keep the door. I took the door out and then just added a side door here. The steps just got a little hydraulic ram there, folds up, no pins, nothing to lock, worry about icing up. You just slide it down, open the door and let's head on in. So here we are inside. Uh, like I mentioned before, this is the, the KC711 edition. A uh, few things that come with that is this Mataflex flooring. Um, it's grippy, but what, what's really neat about it is when we're in here working on sleds, all the water can drain through it and then drain out. Um, and then they installed these drains. You can come in, pull these bolt plugs, pull it out, water can drain out. So there's a row in the front here and then again in the back. So kind of whichever way we kind of set the trailer up, we can get rid of the water. With that package is added lighting. We have lights all down the side, up top, and then four big fluorescent lights in the center. Uh, working on things, there's no substitute for enough light. Um, continuing on back here in the back, storage was a big deal for me. Um, so we went ahead and added six overhead cabinets. Um, in there, they just, you know, plenty of storage to put whatever, spare parts, tools, gear, whatever you need, plenty of hooks. Um, we have a lot of people in and out, you know, whether we're going backcountry riding, getting dressed, or coming to hang out at the races. Uh, so we put quite a bit of seating in here. Um, we got these two fold down benches, just to give everyone, you know, just so everyone can be comfortable, get dressed, whatever they need to do. Um, also back here in the back, uh, lift points, working on sleds, pick up the front of the sleds, working on, on shocks, pull the rears up, tighten tracks, pull the skid out, whatever. Um, added a fold down workbench and everything is super solid. So you could throw your rear skid on there, whatever parts of the sled to work on to get it you know, off the floor, get up working on it. Um, always packing a bunch of different fuel to the races. So we got a big fuel caddy um, good place to, to store some stuff, fuel, oils, um, all of that. Um, let's head up to the front of the trailer and check out some of my favorite features. So up here, this is where I really wanted to kind of set apart just a regular backcountry trailer and combine it with kind of that racer feel. Um, so for me, having my families come to the races with me is really important. And I wanted to make sure that we can all go to the races, have fun, be comfortable when it's bad weather. Um, so we put in two heaters. We have a 75,000 BTU hot dog heater. This thing heats it up in here really fast. Uh, thaws sleds out, makes it nice. And then down here in the bottom, we have a 40,000 BTU furnace. So if we wanna just keep the chill off, maintain the heat, um, we can just run that. 
Um, in here, big heated locker. Again, put the gear in, all the kids' clothes, dry boots, wet gloves, everything. It gets really warm in there. Uh, so good place to just thaw everything out. Fold down couch slash bed. So occasionally you might want to stay in here, gives us a place to sleep. So it just folds down, can be into a bed, folds up couch. Again, for everyone that's just out hanging out at the races, um, super comfortable. Continuing on up front, got a bed, a fridge, a bunch of storage. Like I said, we'll, uh, we'll spend a little bit of time in the races here. Um, good place for the family to hang out. Um, when we're traveling, don't want to go to a hotel or want to pull over, you can come in, take a nap. Um, yeah, so you're always ready to go. So with some of the customizations of these trailers, um, they'll build you about anything. Um, so like I said before, this one is a Keith Curtis 711 edition with the added H2 Summit living quarters. But what we did is we took out all the water. So typically you would have you know, all the cabinetry, the mattress, the fridge, freezer combo. Um, and then a lot of times there's a, a shower and a sink, everything right here. Um, I didn't want to mess with that at the races. I wanted to conserve some space in the trailer um, for backcountry riding and everything. So took all the water features out, but left all the cabinets. Um, like I said, the fridge, freezer combination, uh, be able to prepare our own meals here. Uh, got a microwave in here. And then just lots of storage for, for food and clothing. Um, just a nice, comfortable place for everyone to hang out. Another thing we added, uh, Logan Coach threw in this gear wrench toolbox. Um, pretty neat, again, at the races. It's not about having a lot of tools, but just the right tools. Um, so we have this, we're able to, all of our power tools, there's a power strip in here to, to uh, keep batteries charged. Um, and then just simple place for wrenches, pliers, sockets, just all the, all the things we need to keep our sleds um, going strong at the races. And maybe if you forget something backcountry riding, you can have a set of tools in here. Or if you travel a lot, you know, I know a lot of guys that live back in the Midwest, they travel out West to come. This way you don't have to go track down shops and everything, you can just bring your tools with you. You have the cabinets to throw your spare parts in, change it in the trailer and be on your way again. And then back here at the back of the trailer, uh, we added some race doors, so they're just magnetic. Again, at the races, we want to leave our ramps down so we can in and out of the trailer easily, but still they let a lot of natural daylight in, be able to watch the hill, see what's going on. So pretty cool feature. And then standard in these Logan coaches, they add caliber products across the whole rear ramp. So you don't have to worry about your skags uh, or in our case, screws um, tearing up the ramp of your trailer. Things glide in and out of here super easy. Anyways, that's uh, my custom Logan Coach trailer. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, reach out to, to myself, Logan Coach, or any of their dealers. Hope to see you on the snow.